We've had this APEC reverse osmosis system for a few years now, and this is the first time that I'm gonna be changing all, of, all five of the filters. Here's one of the first tips that I can give you. In recent years, I've just been writing down when I change something on this, uh, and, and that's just very helpful because, you know, we forget. It's been about a year since I changed anything on this, so I'll be able to see what the filters are like after a year. Now, what I like to do to make this easy is to take this whole unit out of the sink. I just find that it's easy just to take the whole thing out, and it's not such a big deal to put this on a bench and, and change everything. First thing we need to do is to turn off the supply. In this case, I have a supply which turns off the, the water for the, the faucet as well as the, the filter unit. And the next thing you need to do is to turn off the tank ball valve, which is over here. Once that's done, you just turn on the filtered water faucet just briefly, just to relieve pressure. In order to take this out, there are three connections that you need to take off. The red one is from the water supply. So I'm gonna push this and you might wanna have something ready there just to catch any, any water that might come out. So I'm just loosening this off. I'm pushing this, this thing in. Nope, nothing coming out there. Another one is over here and it says, do not remove flow control inside. This one goes to the drain. So I'm gonna take that one off right there. There we go. It's better if you have two hands. Okay, there we go. The little tip that you see here is the valve that is asking you not to take off. Another one is a pipe over here that actually goes to the tank. So I'm gonna take that one off. Oops, and now this is dripping. So that's why we need to catch that. And now there's one more, which is the, the, the line that goes to the faucet. So I'm gonna take this one off here. Now the way I have my setup is, it's just attached to, to the wall on the cabinet here. All I need to do is to move it over and it'll come right out. Now we still have some dripping going on here, but I'm just gonna take this out and try not to get water too much on the uh, bottom of the cabinet. So here we are on the workbench, and what I'm gonna do is go through one by one, and we'll change these filters. We'll take a look at them. So actually, this one came off really easy. Um, one thing you might wanna do is prepare yourself with something to catch any water there. I've got something old and grungy here that, uh, uh, because I didn't prepare anything, this is, but this will do the trick. Let's just go through these like this, and we're gonna have to get these over to the sink and just pour them out and we'll see what see what the filters look like that looks like it should have been changed a while ago all right let's continue with the second stage <clears throat> that one came off easily too now this uh this one is the the charcoal I'm going to put this on its lay this down and some water might drip out. Yep, and that was kind of dark too. Since we're going to change all of these, I'm just going to I'm just going to take these off. This Now, I didn't tighten these up too much when I put them on last time. They never leaked. A filter I had before this, I always used to have a really hard time getting getting this kind of stuff off. Uh, this just came off really easily this time. That one looks pretty dark too. Well, it's good with changing them. All right, so here we are in the sink. Oh my gosh, that's so grungy. So that one's going out. Well, wow, they're looking pretty bad. Moral of the story here is, make sure you change your filters on time. We need to clean these out. Just a little bit of soap. You can get new O-rings these were changed last year. I didn't buy any this time, so I'm just going to use what's there, and um, I'm not expecting any problems. This is dishwashing soap. If you're concerned about having a bit, bit of soap in your water, you're going to let these run for a while so that it, all of the carbon comes out, and um, you know by the time all that's done, there should hardly be any trace of the, uh, the soap that you put in here. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Before I put the three big filters on the bottom, I'm going to change these two filters on the top. And uh, what I'll do here is 
I'm just going to release these. Uh, push this pipe in, push this uh, thing in. And uh, just clean this, the top of this thing because it's been a while. I may just rinse this under the under the tap. I'm going to disconnect this one here. All right, and I'm going to clean this. So here we are with a nice clean top, and I'm going to start putting these new ones in. The first one is easy because this one, it's just uh, there's nothing to disassemble. That will go in there. So this one, just so I don't get confused, this is going in the garbage. One tip is to uh, keep these in a place where you can find them when you need them. Preferably right next to the to the unit here. So here's another one. I'm going to hold on to this. Being next to a vise is a, is a real advantage. I'm just afraid I'm, I'm going to break this plastic plastic case. There we go. Actually, it wasn't that hard. This will come off, and then let's take a look at what's in here. This is a chisel, but it's, you know, some kind of screwdriver or something, just to get this to come out because it's been held by the by the rubber seal that's in in the end of it. The new one comes with the new the rubber seals already on the end. But before I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse this one out too. Okay, so now we're we're back. Now one thing that's handy to have is a nice cleaning cloth. Now let's get this new this is what they call the reverse osmosis membrane. Now if you have some lubricating stuff to put in here, I guess you could put that in. Um, I don't have anything. Let's just try to uh, ease that in, shall we? That just went in easily and I'm going to rinse this one out okay, too. So this is cleaned and that will be going on there and presumably when we tighten this that's going to push it all away. Oops what was that? Okay so I guess it just just kind of popped. I guess it's pushed it all in all the way in there now. Okay there we go. All right, so that is our reverse osmosis membrane. So that will go there, and that goes on the on the big clip right here. This one goes on the little clip. Now these three filter housings are identical, so it doesn't matter if you mix them up really. I know this is the one that goes here because this is the one where I put my label on before, and this is the one that gets the sediment filter. So this is the sediment filter which takes all of the big particles before it goes to the to the carbon filters. Let's see if the hole there goes all the way through and that's going to go right there. And once you tighten this up on here, let's put that one there. Here's one of the premium water filters. I prefer to get the original water filters. I just kind of trust these, that these have good materials and everything. Okay, and that's a rubber, rubber seal on each end. Just make sure that is there. And uh, this will be sitting on there, on here. So, um, I think something's just come back to me that it's probably a good idea to tighten these up as you go because especially the middle one uh, you find that you can't get it on once you've got once you've got uh, two of them on, on each side so especially this middle one you want to make sure that you tighten this up and uh, So you don't want these to leak. Okay. Seems good. And I'm going to, while we're here, going to tighten this one up. Oh, 
that seems good. I have one of these from before. The label may have changed, but it's the same one. Okay, so this is just like the last one. Put this in, make sure it's got the rubber on the end. And this should just go on like this. And this tied up here. These are on good and proper. So just... Okay. So there we are, ready to go back. All right. So, um, okay. Let's try. Put this in the right way around. And uh, so this is coming out from this one. This will be the final. Uh, you know, the final cleaning filter and I'm just going to put this in here so this one goes to the faucet there we go there we go that's that's gone in all the way and we have another one on top so this one goes to the drain this has a, a little valve on it to prevent the, the flow coming back from the drain so you don't take that one out you just leave that one there it's that little yellow thing Push this in and let's see if we can get that. Now the red one is coming from the water supply. Now the water supply goes in to the start of the first filter unit. And this one actually goes to the tank. All right, so that's, that's going to the tank right there. It's good to understand how this system works. And what happens is you have water coming into the system and it goes into the first filter, which is a sediment filter. And this filters out the big stuff. And then it goes through two carbon filters. And then it passes through a valve here and it goes into what is called the reverse osmosis membrane. And then it passes through that and then it goes back, here is an in and here is an out. And then that one goes into a T connection. So that, that is connected to both the fifth filter and also it goes into the water tank. When you turn on the, the faucet here to get some water, you're receiving water through the filters, but that's only gonna be a trickle. What happens is that while you're not running the water over here, this is actually filling the tank. It's filling the tank and it's also, this tank is also pressurized. So when you turn on the faucet after this is filled up, you're getting water from the tank and also you're getting whatever this can be able to supply too. So you're getting a mixture. So let's see if we can follow this through. The pipe here comes into the filter, to the first filter. It goes to the first one, the second and the third one. And it comes out, looking at the back of the filter unit, it comes out over here and then we'll see that it goes over here to this, this valve that goes through there and into the reverse osmosis unit. And then that will go through and we'll see on the other end some connections there. You've got two connections on this one. One of them goes back into this filter over here and this other one goes to the drain line. The black one goes to the drain line. So let's just take a look over here again. So this one goes through and this is where it splits off, where it goes into the T. And this one goes into the final filter. And this yellow one is the one that goes to the tank. And then through this final filter, what comes out the other end is the pipe which goes to the faucet. So that's everything we saw on the diagram. And of course, we're looking at the back of the unit. Here's how our system works. And I just put myself a note there, five stages changed on 11, 22, 24. Right now, the water's tasting good. Everything looks good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And once you've done that, it'll be time to get on with the next project.